Our least expensive pencil is 25 cents. It comes from Tennessee, it's called the Bugle. It's very simple, actually very good pencil. And the most expensive one we have is $525 and it has a platinum plated eraser cap. Oh, it's from their luxury line, it's insane. Ticonderoga Millennium Edition was like, was what I call my gateway pencil. I got it maybe about a year and a half before I decided to open the shop. Anybody who tries to tell me that they hate writing with pencils, I challenge them to come in here and try them all. And, I'm guaranteed that they'll leave with at least one. This was quite honestly my like retirement dream job. And I started crunching the numbers and making plans and realized that if I did it just right, it could actually happen and here we are now. Pencils are important for a lot of reasons. I could go on for like three hours about this. They're a simple object. They only are made of, at very base level, three things, wood, graphite, and clay. That's about it. There's nothing that can be done to make it more perfect than it already is. It is a perfect object by design, and it's just a wonderful way to physically connect with the things you're writing, the stuff you're drawing. We get artists, writers, just pencil enthusiasts, analog tools enthusiasts, children. We have like families come in to buy their school pencils. We have people come in just because they heard about it and couldn't believe that this thing exists. And you can like spend ten dollars and get a lot of cool things. We really, truly like actually have something for everyone of any budget. We regularly have people come in and like spend three dollars. We do a um, quarterly subscription box. It's pencils, accessories, kind of extra wild card things as I call them, but each box is a theme. We're at 700 subscribers now and we have a waiting list and we have made a couple of pencils with Karen Dash in Switzerland, including one called the Editor, which was my personal dream pencil. It's um, a double-ended pencil that's half red colored pencil and half graphite. I always say that the, the more involved we get with our devices and with technology, the more people kind of crave the feeling of like doing their work with something physical. Pencils will always be around and there will always be a market for them no matter how small.